My name is Amparo Vale. Willing to take a DNA. I was adopted years 1974. She thinks your mom is still alive. And I am looking for my biological mother. Excited to meet my for another soldier. I've been on the phone. Name, Nina Ruby. Oh, I have that connection. Where I belong. She's looking for you. And please help me, guys. Thank you. This is the story of Amparo reuniting with her mother 49 years after she was forced to give her up. Amparo reached out to the Lear and Blair slog to ask for our help in locating her long-lost biological mother. Amparo is a 49-year-old widow running a diving business on the exotic island of Malapascua in the Philippines. As we head to the island, Amparo goes into more detail about how she has been looking for her long-lost mum. She don't want to tell me anything at all. She would start crying and then she would only tell me, can you just keep quiet and see how I take care of you? like my own daughter so don't ask anything else about what these people are gossiping about because they don't even want to tell me that I was adopted. This kind soul had insisted that we bring our three young boys with us to hear her story so they could enjoy their time on Malapascua Island. Malapascua Island, it's a very small island. I got the impression that Amparo was a very strong, self-determined lady who set out to find her long-lost mother. She just needed a little bit of help. Amazingly, the next five days are going to completely change her life. We're going to stay here for a couple of days. We're going to do some interviews with Mam Amparo, uh, find out about her background story. She's looking for her mum, her birth mother. She was adopted uh, from a very, very young age. She doesn't know her mother at all or her father. And uh, the Lear and Blair slog are setting out to try and find her mum. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you right now. You'll just have to keep watching to find out what happens. As we headed to her residence, we passed Dan's dive, Mam Amparo's dive shop. After an all-day journey to the island, the next day we would be hearing Amparo's full story. I'm with Bia. Bia, do you like living in Malapaswa? Yeah, very much. Very peaceful around here. And you go to school on the island? Yeah. Bia, Amparo's daughter, she's 14. She's going to be looking after the boys today for us as we interview Amparo and find out her story about looking for her long lost mother. Amazing views, but an upcoming heart-wrenching story. Can you just give us a quick background as to how you ended up in Malapascua? Okay, me and my husband came here just to go swimming with uh, our son Ethan Vincent back in 2004 and my husband Daniel Vale fell in love with the place and decided to stay and uh, make a, uh, do a dive shop here. From then, we are still here, uh, having our dive shop here. You were telling me that uh, you wanted to try and find your birth mother when your husband was alive. Yes, that Take is true. Take me through why that didn't happen. My mom, she keep on crying every time we ask her. Uh, about this uh, topic and uh, she even told told me uh, or us that it could it would be okay if I don't bring we don't bring again the, this issue until they are gone in this world. Do you think that your mother is still alive? In your heart, do you feel your mother is still alive? Positively. Yeah, you do? Yes, I feel it. How old is would she be now? around 76 or so after 49 years being a mom a successful businesswoman here in Malapascua why you are still looking for your biological mother okay this is hard now I am 49 years old and I'm still hoping that I can I can find them, some, any of them, knowing that you don't have any family. Okay, I was blessed to have these adopted parents who really loves me, 
so much that I could never ask for more. I was scared beyond what anyone else can can give, can have. They raised me like their own blood, but still knowing that you are just an adopted, for somehow you want to reconnect or you want to see them and you want to see how, what's your, uh, where you belong, wh where you come from. And for me to be on this, uh, on, on this stage now that like what she says on her letter that I am giving you away may God bless uh, may God provide the good future for you because I cannot afford to raise you Nida Ruby is the real name maybe she has given even a fake name for some reason, I don't know why, but I, I, you know, I was hoping it's not, because that's what makes me hurt more. For me, this is something that I want her to know and thank her mostly for bringing me up in this world and have that heart to think of me, to have a better future being with her. And I just want her to know that this is me now. I was so blessed because of your prayers to have a good life and I had it. So if you're out there, I want to reach out again and reconnect with you to share my blessings. My name is Amparo Vale. I was adopted years 1974 July 21 and I am looking for my biological mother named Nida Ruby which she can be found in Limon Barangay Butuan City or somewhere Samora Street Butuan City and this is based on the, uh, the affidavit of consent that she have signed during my adoption and uh, I hope uh, anyone can help us locate her and give us some more information so we, I can get some uh, closure to my mom, my, my biological mom. But for me to know this, if she or my adopted parents was advise her to do this, that is not the matter now, the ma uh, what most important now is if you're still out there or any of the family member that knows this uh, biological uh, family of mine please reach out because I am not here to make any scene only to feel like what human being does to have that connection where I belong or where I came from. All too soon it was time to leave Malapasqua and find her long-lost mother, Nida Ruby. We have begun our journey by uploading Amparo's video to our Facebook page. What we didn't realize was that somebody was going to watch it and tell us that maybe she had a long-lost sister. I can't believe it, guys. She just left Malapasqua and heading back to Sibunga. Now we got some news that it might be Ati Amparo's sister. We've only been in the van a couple of hours. We're on our way back to our house and the messages are coming in from the post that we put up on our Facebook page, the Deering Blair Slog. And someone has said, try this person. So we looked her up and she is the spitting image of Mam Amparo. It's like a twin. It's like a twin. When they're, I'm going to put the picture up now. Look at this. We're in a van traveling across the mountains through the middle of Cebu, so the signal's in and out. We're trying to call Mam Amparo to tell her. Everything leads back that this is her half sister, a different father, but the same mother. Uh, some cousins have been contacting us from this girl, from this woman's um, side, saying we know who this is and it looks like she's the half-sister of Mam Amparo. As Leah May was checking this woman's Facebook page, it was uncanny the similarity between her and Amparo. Within the space of 24 hours of putting her video up on our Facebook page, 
It got shared more than a thousand times. It's currently sitting at nearly 50,000 views overnight. And this is the power of social media. You know I always say that because somebody somewhere knows something and the jigsaw and the puzzle starts coming together. So take a look at this. Who she looks like? Uh, looks the like. daughter. Exactly, exactly. Bia. Exactly. so so excited so you, you, you don't know how i feel right now unfortunately for us as we crossed over the beautiful mountain range that divides north and south cebu we had no phone signal so now we're on the highway we've got signal we've just come down from barili there's nothing more frustrating than you're so close in reuniting people don't even know each other exists and there's no bloody signal up in the mountains it's like you're pulling your hair out Leah May still working the phones. We have yet to speak to Violetta, but um, we've got her daughter now on Messenger, and Leah May is talking to the daughter. So this job, you can't explain it. It's uh, it's like a roller coaster of information. One minute you've hit a dead end, the next minute somebody pops up on Messenger saying um, you added me as a friend. Who are you? Is this a scam? I'm messaging different people, friends related to Violetta but they said they don't have number with her. So this is how it go, guys. Like, it's not easy. You're so close. But I'm so close. I, I'm, I'm so, so close now. So I'm just gonna continue and hopefully I can get hold with Violeta, which is probably at the Amparo's sister, half sister. It's surreal, this journey. I'm trying to get hold of Ma'am Amparo. I think she's out on the dive boat. It's like, hoi! <laughs> Go, keep your phone beside you, even if you're underwater, answer it. <laughs> no excuses. I'm trying to reunite you <laughs> with your long lost mother. I don't know if she's still alive, but I found a half sister. After bouncing on a bumpy road all day, we were nearing our house where we could make a video call to Mam Amparo. Mam Amparo? Yes, sir? We have been working all the way home in the van. Okay. Now, either you stand up or you sit down, but we got info, but it's not about your mum. Okay. It's not about your mum yet. But it could be about a sister. Wow. Okay. Now, okay. we have found someone that it could be your spitting twin image of you. She looks younger than you. We haven't spoken to her directly. Okay. We haven't spoken to her directly, but we've spoken to cousins. I'll let Leah May speak in English to you because she's the one that's been more talking to people. But it looks like you better get on a boat and come to Cebu because we think that you have a half sister living in Cebu. So they know your ma mother, they know Nida Ruby, and they said she's basically from Cebu. Then she went to Butuan City and rented a small house there in Zamora, Zamora Street. And, okay. and these people that I talked to that giving me this information is the owner of the place that she is rented. Her real name is Jimina Ruby alias Nida Ruby. And they said Miss Amparo might have a sister who is now in Cebu. And when I look at the picture of basically your half sister, is exactly look like you wow and they said it might be younger or older older they don't know and you okay and your half sister they put her also into adoption <gasps> okay wow can we send the picture through now of your who we believe is your half sister and then we're going to call you back okay please Inam inam sa tubig day. Just drink some water sa. Okay, but I would love to see the picture, please. Okay. Yeah, we will send it right away. Incredibly, the half sister was calling at the same time. Hello. Hi. 
Hi. She said she had just finished work and was in shock. There was a moment of silence as Violetta just looked at the video call, looked at us and probably was thinking, is this real or is this a bit of a scam? Hi, ma'am. Violetta? Is that your real name, yes. Violetta? Yes, I'm Violetta, sir. Ma'am, I've been searching for you all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's about? Yeah, the, uh, the information here in FB that uh, that woman is looking for her, her half-sister. Her, her, she's looking for her, her by, she's looking for Nida Ruby. Mm -hmm. Do you know Nida Ruby? Yeah. Is she still, is, our, is she still our, alive? Here's our uh, mother. Is she still alive, ma'am? Uh, maybe, yes, because it's very long, long time ago that uh, we've been uh, meet together. Do you know where she... I know... Do you, I know her address. Is she from Maybe Cebu? Okay. Is she from Cebu? Yeah, yeah. Nida I Ruby. Can help her. Oh wow. Yeah. Nida Ruby is from Cebu. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, ma'am, I will just introduce ourselves. My name is Blair, and I'm Leia. And we have a YouTube channel called the Leah and Blair Slog, and we help to reunite long lost loved ones. Do you know you have a half sister? Uh, uh, when I was a teenager, I've heard that uh, in our neighborhood in Mindanao that I've heard that I have a half sister. I think she's older than me, or she's forty nine. Oh yeah, she's older than me, and I'm forty eight. Yeah, you're forty eight. I have a half sister, but I've never, uh, I've never know her name because it's a very long, long way. Long, long ago, very long, long. Wow, ma'am, this is um, this is unbelievable. We're going to reunite you with your half sister. We definitely needed to call Amparo back with the great news that we had found a half sister. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> as soon as we got into the van, as soon as we got into the, the taxi that you paid for us to bring us all the way back to South Cebu, Leah May was working, I was working, going through the messages. Somebody said they might know something, but that's all they said. So we started PMing them. We spoke to about 30 different people to get to where we're at right now. Somebody knowed a little bit. Somebody said it was a cousin of an uncle. And here we are telling you that we found your half-sister and she's going to lead us to your mum tomorrow. My goodness, so quick. <laughs> Don't forget to bring your paperwork. Bring everything, paperwork. Yes, I will. I will. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yeah. How are you feeling? I can see how you're feeling. <laughs> Is there anyone? This is, this is because I am so happy. Is there anybody with you? Is there anyone with you? Yeah, Tita Nair is here. Uh, but yeah, I, now at least now I can sleep uh, good and, and uh, I'm looking forward to see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, let's do this. As soon as we woke up on day number five, we traveled to the city to meet Violetta. But as you'll find out, it didn't all go according to plan. How are you feeling right now, uh, knowing that you're like 20 minutes away from meeting your half-sister who you've never met? Well, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, you know, happy. I cannot, I cannot, you know, I cannot control myself, you know, crying, crying, you know. They called it uh, tears of joy. And can I ask? You, you knew that you had a half-sister or, yeah, or I a know sister, that. you knew that you had a sister. Yeah, I know that before when I was uh, 16 year old, when I first came in Butuan City. Who told you? 
uh, the neighborhood. Really? The, yeah, the close family uh, neighborhood. The neighborhood gossip. Yeah. <laughs> the chismes. <laughs> yeah, the gossip, you know. Just as we were getting to know Violetta, the car breaks down. We're currently trying to fix the car. Fingers crossed we're gonna get this done. This was the last thing that we needed. This was going to jeopardize everything today. I didn't write this script. Myself and Leah May were up in Malapasqua for four days, hearing Mam Amparo's story about trying to find her long lost birth mother. We've managed to find her and we've also got a bonus of finding her half sister who's in our car. We're at Ken Taxi. We've got 30 minutes to go until we're meant to be meeting them. It's 12 o'clock. Where is Mam Amparo? Just driving into Cebu City yes. now. Liam May is reporting back to me that the car seems to have been fixed. Driving now into Cebu City, the car's fixed. The crisis is over. 10 minutes until Violetta meets her long lost sister. So we've arrived before Mam Amparo. She's on her way. The girls are just putting on some makeup and looking good. I'm nervous. Oh my god, this is it! Yes! There's Ethan and Tita. Hi, Tita. How are you feeling? Uh, actually, uh, for now, I'm overwhelmed and very excited. And then, of course, I hope I don't cry, but I don't know what's gonna happen because I don't have any tissue or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but man, this is oh! This is went so fast that I cannot even believe it. Round here. If you're going, see the Dunkin' Donuts over ah, there? Okay. They should oh be around. God. This way. Guys, we'll sneak up to them. <laughs> oh. I've done this a few times. This is the first one in 2024, but it's yeah, always, it's always me, nerve wracking. Oh, look at this, guys. It's giving me goosebumps already, but. As they, they said, this is going to be my lucky year, and... They're just round the corner. Okay. Oh, they, even, they did not even go to Dunkin' Donuts. Ma'am, Violetta, please turn around and meet your, your long-lost sister. <laughs> Only five days ago, we had set out to find Amparo's biological mother, and here we were finding a half sister. <laughs> this was a beautiful moment. Unbelievably, we were looking for her mum, but we also found a half sister she didn't even know she had. Everything was going great now. And Violetta had told me, don't worry, she was sure she could find her mother's Ate. house. I'm glad that I have a sister, you know. And so it was time to find Nida Ruby. The tears had gone for Amparo. She was full of energy and hope. We were getting close, and even Leah May was cracking that smile. Across the bridge, we're now in Lapu Lapu. Myself and Leah May and Mam Violetta are going to go down to Ruby's house, Nida Ruby's house, and Leah May has the adoption papers from Mam Amparo's adoption, and we're going to confirm that she is Nida Ruby. So stay with us, we're just about to get out of the van and go down. For 49 years, there had been no contact, but for the dying wish of Amparo's husband, Dan, was that Amparo go looking for her biological mother. And now, with the help of the Lear and Blair slog, this was the moment that Amparo had been wishing for all her life. As I climbed out of the van, my heart was racing. Violetta told us that she was actually estranged from her mother. This was a situation that I had not accounted for. Leah May encouraged her to push through. We needed to find the location of the house. Now things were going from bad to worse. Violetta couldn't remember. So we started asking local shopkeepers if anyone had heard of this name Ruby. Five days of searching. Liam May was searching every day for the past five days for up to probably 15, 16 hours a day online. We got some information on the Facebook post and uh, Man Violet is still trying to remember the, the way to the house. 
We had been looking for nearly 20 minutes now, with no contact to Mam Amparo in the van. It was at that moment that Leah May remembered she had forgotten the adoption letter. To be frank, it was probably the pace of the chase. Everyone had little sleep the night before. So, it's been a few years since Violetta has been here, so she's just still trying to remember all the little side streets. We're on our way, we're close. The queer there sitting there, he seems to know somebody, so they pointed us in this direction. I'm getting goosebumps, look, little side alleyway stuff. So they're not on good terms apparently, so man Violetta's just gonna stay back. Oh great, beware of dogs, my favorite. Here we go guys, beware of dogs in the Philippines. Doesn't look like anybody's here. Well, maybe they are. Or the house next door and he's come down. He knows them so we're in the right place, but he's just shouting to see if anybody's home. Thanks, Ria. Just forget the dogs in this door. And there she was. As I battled my way through the barking dogs, there was this old lady sitting at the end of the pathway. She was beautiful. It looked to me as if she was suffering from the early signs of Parkinson's. To be honest, I wasn't sure. I'm no doctor, but her hand was shaking. But I could see she was listening intently to what Leah May had to say. <laughs> Ever so gently, she replied back to Leah May that yes, that was her name. Ate Nida is like, how old are you? Uh, now? Uh, this is five, eighty. Do you remember that you have a baby that you put into adoption? No, it. it she said to Leah May that there was only one that she had left, and that was with Nida's own mother, meaning Violetta's grandmother. She whispered this into Leah May's ear, as I think she was a little bit embarrassed. But do you have another one, the older one? She was trying to think. You don't remember? She replied, yes, I only have two kids. Yes, now I only have two kids. Leah May took out the adoption letter to show her. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the adoptions. It goes on to say that my name is Nida Ruby and I live in Zamora Street in Butuan City. She was living in poverty and Amparo was born on the 21st of July, 1974. But she was saying it was a boy. It's a boy? This was not Amparo's mother. But it's not a girl. She reiterated again it was only one girl. I was extremely confused. She said that she didn't have an, a daughter, girl, daughter. Only Bayolita is her daughter. But there is no other ga, uh, girl. So ang imo ang ga yun is Nida Ruby. Here she was confirming that her name was Nida Ruby and she did used to live in Zamora Street in Butuan City in the Philippines. This was going nowhere, but Leah May remembered we had the video of Amparo that she did on Malapasqua Island trying to find her long lost mother. My name is Amparo Vale. I was adopted years 1974, July 21, and I am looking for my biological mother named Nida Ruby, which 
she can be found in Limon, Barangay, Butuan City, or somewhere, Samora Street, Butuan City. And this is based on the, uh, the affidavit of consent that she have signed during my adoption. And uh, I hope uh, anyone can help us locate her and give us some more information so we, I can get some uh, closure to my mom, my biological mom. Okay, Rafa. Whilst watching the video, something had clicked and she had remembered Amparo. At last, a breakthrough. Now she remembered that. Remember, Nana is 80 years old. Now she remembered that she has another baby girl that she put into adoption. Because I forgot. It's okay, ma'am. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nine. She don't have okay. a father. Ma'am, ma'am, it's okay. She don't have a father. Ma'am, ma'am, she's been looking for you. Yeah. She contacted me because yes. I, I'm helping to find... Me? Yes. Yes. Yes, she is with us now in the van. She's looking for you. <laughs> this had been one of the most emotional reunions that I had ever done. This old woman had buried the memory of the past. She is in the van now with Ate Bayulita and your, your another daughter, this one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Leah May ushered me to go and get Amparo and the others from the van immediately. Guys, this is one of the hardest reunions we've ever done. We're now to the minivan to go get Amparo. Her mum's in tears. She can't believe it. And I'm gonna bring Amparo in to meet her mum. Was asking me how it's gone, and I'm uh, to be honest, I'm lost for words this time. It's very, very emotional because she was saying she didn't have a daughter. I think she was so embarrassed, and now she, Leah May showed her the video, and she broke down in tears. Ma'am Ruby broke down in tears, and uh, Leah May told her her daughter's here to see her, and uh, this is it. She's she's admitted it, and she wants to see her long lost daughter. So we're bringing in. Mama and Paro now. You're gonna have to mind the dogs, okay? There's lots of dogs. This is it. We're going to reunite Mama and Paro with her very old, aged mum. She says she's 80 years old. Sorry about the dogs, guys, but this is the Philippines and this is just the way it is. Guard dogs. Now this incredible moment had come. Accidentally discovering she had been adopted at the age of eight years old, and Paro Vale had always wanted to know about her Filipino birth mother. Who was she? Where was she? Was she even alive? For 49 years, there had been no contact. But because of the dying wish of her husband and that of her past adopted parents, she wanted to go searching for her biological mother, Nida Ruby. <laughs> Mam and Paro. Heartbreakingly, 
and over the noise of the dogs. Did you hear what Nida said to her daughter Amparo? I am sorry, I was really poor, and I am still very poor. Guapa kayo imong anak. Oh yes, guapa. Ang imong apo, apo na ni mo. Oh, napa kayo sa ka apo nga kanang kuan guapa bright kayo. Bia. Ang nagkita, ang tata ni Adto pa, di ang taka maing ani. Dugay, nadyo ko nangita ni mo. Mayo na akong kabutang ron. Ay, may kabutang. Salamat, sige no. Kainom tong ko sa imong pinirmaan din eh. Hingong kagihatag po na imo. Kaya makain ka pa kaon sa ako. Ang iyong taong ginoo. Iyak akong gihahan nga mo maayo ang ako ka nang kinabuhi. Iyak ang nanggihatag sa ako. Sa tungod ni mo. Tungod sa imong giampo para na ako gihatag na sa ginoo. Na diri o. O ngimpirma ka. Pero ang sayap lang ni mo kay wa ka mutugan sa imo hang tinuod nga apelyido. Awa ko imong pangalan. Pero may na lang. Rubigit ako gita. Mao din na rubigit. And there was more to see. It's going to be a long process, okay? But all I can do for now is uh, get get you the best solution and help, which is uh, first we will we will settle with kind of give you the necessary uh, medical you know, attention. I wanna take you somewhere, so you know I care, but it's so cold and I don't know where. I brought you daffodils on a pretty string But they won't flower like they did last spring And I wanna kiss you, make you feel alright I'm just so tired to share my nights I wanna cry and I wanna love but all my And even at 80, her eyes could melt a thousand hearts Now I know that there is the reason for everything and I think this is the reason for it. And you were worried, I could see the look in your face that you think we got it wrong. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried because... <laughs> you like, didn't tell us right at the beginning. <laughs> because she forgot at, you know, 80 years old. Imagine yes. that. Uh, you, I found you now, not you found me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wish I could help you back, you know. There will be no no more uh, questions, no... <laughs> nothing to worry. <laughs> nothing to worry, you know, whatever God will, you uh, know, have had blessed me because you prayed for me. I can, I can give you, I can share with you, okay? 